Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, yet another video by Varanasi Farms and Discover Agriculture and today we're going to speak about the importance of soil biology in farming. So in farming, soil biology plays an important role in providing nutrients for the plants. As you all know, 5% of the plant's nutrients come from the soil in the form of um, macronutrients, micronutrients and secondary nutrients. And soil is full of these nutrients. In fact, 45% of the earth is full of minerals. However, plants need soil biology in order to take up these nutrients to produce food crops for us. So when it comes to soil biology, I'm talking about various types of animals which are macro and micro. So for example, macroorganisms may include earthworms, millipedes, centipedes, snakes, frogs, and animals and birds and every, everything. And when it comes to microorganisms in the soil, we have the protozoa, the algae, the fungi, bacteria, and actinomycetes. They all come together and help the plants take up these nutrients better. And when you see how this biology plays up, for example, microorganisms, there are two ways they benefit the nutrient uptake in the plants. One, for example, taking an example of a fungi, um, we see mushrooms everywhere, right? Popping up in, the, in a regenerative farm. The mushrooms are only the top flowering bodies. Underneath are the mycelial structures, which are like uh, microtubular structures, which spread, spread across for up to 15 kilometers underground. And they connect to every single roots in the farm. And these um, tubular structures, they assist the plant roots to get all the nutrients from all these different places. Not just nutrients, but also um, water and also information about biotic and abiotic stress from various places. It also helps uh, the building of um, its immunity. The plant's immunity also gets built with the help of these microorganisms, especially our vascular mycorrhizas, which is a type of fungi. The microorganisms not only help the plants pull in the nutrients from the distance depth, but also there is another way where soil biology comes in to degrade and decay the organic matter which has fallen from the trees and plants and herbs and then puts it back as nutrient into the ground. We're going to have a look at over here. So what do we have here is an organic, is a bunch of organic matter. In this case we have the leaves of cacao and what will happen to a cacao or any leaf which is in the ground. So first it gets eaten by macroorganisms, the centipedes, the pill millipedes, the earthworms, they feed on it. By the time they're done and they poop, whatever they poop are again eaten up by microorganisms. It could be fungi, it could be bacteria, actinomycetes, the other organisms, algae, all these different organisms which eat up these, um, the leftovers from the, uh, the animals, microorganisms. Once they're done with it, the nutrients go back into the soil. As you can see over here, within a span of few months, we have the top soil rich with micronutrients. It's also very soft. And these, these um, soil have the nutrients ready for the plants to absorb. And we can see another benefit um, that the macroorganisms has, has done over here. In this case, it could be mm, a crab or something else. It is dug a hole. So when it digs a hole, it makes the ground soft. So I can actually use my fingers over here and then pull in um, the soil. And this has, this allows the root to grow really fast. So the plants grow really fast when in the presence of uh, macroorganisms as well. So again, soil biology. There are many ways that you can improve soil biology in your farm. The first one is reducing chemical fertilizers and pesticides because these uh, pesticides can kill these organisms, the biology of the soil, and uh, we may not have any biology left in the soil. The second thing is definitely going for multi-layer crops. Instead of having a monoculture plantation, if you have multi-layer plants, each plant has its own subset of species, biology that they um, support. So if you have coconut, arecanut, um, nutmeg, fruit plants, cacao, jackfruit and all this, they, each of them have their own gang of organisms that they support and they all come together to improve the soil biology. 